Five years ago today, Carl Edwards came here to Miami to clinch a championship. He won the pole. He led the most laps. He did everything right, except he finished runner-up in that race and lost in a tiebreaker to champion Tony Stewart. Carl told me it was the hardest thing to lose that way, but that a championship today will mean just that much more given the defeat back in 2011, Dave Burns. That was spotter Jason Hedleski for Carl Edwards. That spotter coverage presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance helping drivers worry less. One of the things about these teams, and in particular with Jason Hedleski and Carl Edwards, Jason Hedleski was a racer himself. He used to race quite a bit, uh, was a driver that really enjoyed being behind the wheel but at the same time was working with Carl Edwards as he was coming through the ranks of the truck series on up into the Xfinity series and now in the cup series and once again going for a championship but the two have been together for quite some time. Kyle Larson back out front. Carl Edwards running in the second spot. He's two seconds behind him on the track. Yeah, we were watching the 42 had problem on their pit, but the 19 I thought was going to beat him off pit road, but they didn't. Watch the right rear. Can't get the right rear tire off. Takes a while to get it on. That little bit of slow exchange. The door was open to get in front of Kyle Larson. But they made a mistake at the same time Kyle Larson and his teammate. Yeah, the difference I see, though, is I think that's a small mistake. I feel of the championship for the 19 has the strongest pit crew. The pit crew won him Darlington. Really, the pit crew won him Texas. That's where the pass for the win happened. And the 19 got a little bit of reps yesterday, winning the championship with Daniel Suarez. So a little hiccup there, but I still think that's the strongest crew on pit road. Kyle Busch, Jimmy Johnson, they've both been chasing after the 19 of Carl Edwards. He's on the other side of the spectrum. He hasn't made some big changes. This is what they had to say on the radio. You have fun, Dave? I'm having a blast, man. You have fun? Yes, yes. Really cool race on the 4 and the 42 there. That's a good time. I love this place. Once again, that voice, calm. Sounds like he's having fun. They come back in the restart zone. Green flag back in the air. They had two problems on pit road. Great shot overhead. Watch the right rear. Takes him a little while, get the tire off. His tire's slow coming off. They get the right rear on. You can see the right rear is slow around the left side of the car, but now watch the left front. Yeah, so there was a few tenths of a second beat over there. Well, now the front should be ahead, but see, slow taking the left front off. That's what happens. When you have a little issue on the right and a little issue on the left, they add up to over a second. And, you know, right before this race, Kyle Busch brought it up. He, no one asked him about it. He just brought it up and said, hey, I remember what happened in Richmond, and if I'm behind Carl Edwards, I know what I can do because Carl did it to me. So right now it's reversed. You know, Carl Edwards has first got to get by Kyle Busch. See Carl right against that wall. Well, you mentioned earlier in the race how Carl was leaving those last few feet to the wall. Now's the time to use every bit of real estate. If there's an advantage to run higher, he needs to do it. The risk is if it pulls you into the wall, you could damage it and give up a bunch of time. But with 28 to go, this is where the 19 actually looks to be better than the 18 as they go through traffic and they get to the bottom of the racetrack. Carl Edwards on the inside. Green flag back in the air. They're blocking. Good go down low. Carl Edwards into the wall. He got tagged by the 22. Big hits by the 19. And the caution comes back out again. That is exactly what we saw Joey Logano was going to try to do. Big fire of the 78. Up, but that is what we thought was going to happen. Obviously, the wreck isn't what we thought. Martin Truex Jr. needs to get out of this race car. Going along with Carl Edwards in. He has to go to medical first and be cleared, guys, just uh, as you uh, as you know. So he's going to go do that first. But he walked up to apologize to Todd Gordon, said it was 100% my fault. And, in fact, he told Todd Gordon, he said, tell Joey, go get it, go win this thing. So that's what he told Todd Gordon when he went up there, shook everybody's hand on top of that pit box, said, my fault, 100%. I'm sorry that I, got, that I came across his nose like that. So what a class move by Carl Edwards. And we saw that after the 2011 championship. First guy to Tony Stewart's window, Carl Edwards. Tonight, a big wreck here. 
first guy up to apologize, Carl Edwards. Carl, after walking all the way back to the infield care center, Carl, it sounded like you accepted responsibility for that. Take me through the restart. Yeah, I, I think it. Um, I think it was shared. You know, I mean, I feel like it was just racing. Um, haven't seen a real close-up view, but um, the way I had it figured is, f first of all, that was a race of my life up to that point. It was a lot of fun, and um, Joey was so good on the short run. I don't know how he got that restart. It was a really good restart. I thought we were. I thought everything was going to work out, and. Jason told me he was looking low, and I, he told me basically he was there. I, I knew what Jason was saying, and I just pushed the issue as far as I could because I figured that was the race there. And so, um, yeah, here, let me watch it again. Yeah, Joey just timed it perfectly. He moved down. I thought I could feel him a little, and I just thought that uh, that's probably a little optimistic, but I thought, uh, I thought I'd clear him or force him to lift. I just thought I'd have just a little more time. But he drove down as far as a guy could be um, expected to drive down. And that's how it ended. I don't know what the caution was for. I, I really hope it was something that, um, you know, that we need to have a caution for. So that's, uh, that was really, that was going really well. Carl, we saw you walk over to the 22 pit box, shake their hands. It sounded like maybe there was an apology. Why was it important for you to go over to that team? Yeah, no apology. I just wanted to say, hey, that's just racing, and good luck to you guys. There's so much on the line. I, I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I don't want any um, anything extra to, to mess with Joey. He's done a good job, and, and um, they deserve to go have a good, fair race. I hope Kyle gets it. Um, I just can't thank everybody enough, all, all of my fans, Aris, Toyota, Subway, everybody that came down here to support me, um, Comcast, Sport Clips. A little ashamed of my haircut. I, mean, I need one. And... Um, I thought we had it. This is uh, that was that was frustrating.